Hello ladies and gentlemen, James here again from Honest Cigar Reviews. Uh, as you can see in front of me, I have a Rocky Patel Decade. Uh, I picked this up at my local uh, tobacco shop store. Um, not a great deal, I think I paid like seven, eight bucks for it. It was it was like originally like ten or twelve, but it was like buy one, get one free. So they made both of them half off. So not a great deal, but I love you know supporting my local stores and seeing what they have. And I've never actually smoked a Rocky Patel Decade. You know, I love Rocky Patels. Um, I've had 90s and uh, Old World Reserves and The Edge. Uh, and I think that's all I've had. I think maybe like two or three more I've had. I don't know. Um, but I've never had a decade. And in my opinion, this is probably their most, I guess, sought after cigar. I mean, it's definitely been up there with Cigar Aficionado for years. And um, it's probably their most popular, I'd say overall maybe that or the 90 I'm not really sure but anyway the decade is a great cigar and uh, yeah so I'm gonna review for you today we have this is the Toro size so it's six and a half inches long by 52 and um, it has a slight looks like a very slight box press to it yeah so this is let's see what we got here This is, I can't believe I've never smoked this cigar. Wow. Now this is a really gorgeous wrapper. Has a slight sheen to it. Got a little few, few veins here that are sticking up. Um, I would probably say this is like a Maduro, maybe some reddish hue, so maybe Colorado as well. Um, but definitely gorgeous. Um, I definitely love the, uh, the band here. It's simple and elegant, and um, I think they just do a great job. You know, Rocky, Rocky Patel does a great job here. Um, the pack is actually kind of interesting because there's there's lighter tobaccos over here, and uh, it's actually I guess it's about medium medium pack. But um, yeah, it smells really good too. Very sweet smelling. Um, some floral note in there. Uh, pretty much a typical uh, Maduro smell. But let's light this thing up and I'll catch you guys soon. Back See you again soon. here with the Rock Patel uh, Toro. About five minutes in, six minutes in. And the first tastes were great. I mean, I love the, the resistance. It's just a slight bit of resistance, which I, I like. And uh, the ash is relatively dark. But uh, the flavors so far are just... Um, like an oily sweetness with some cream maybe some leather as well it's definitely going to be a uh, probably a full bodied cigar as we go down right now it's probably like medium to full but it kind of makes me like like my mouth is just watering wanting another puff and I love that like I love desiring my smoke like I love not being able to put down a cigar and that's what so far we're getting um, just that creamy robust flavor and uh, yeah, so I'll cut you guys maybe an inch or a half down here and let you know how it progresses. See you soon. Alright guys, I'm back again. As you can see, I'm about an inch in. Ash is holding on excellent. Very uh, uniform. The line is a little squiggly, but nef nothing to complain about. And uh, yeah, so the flavors have changed a little bit. Um, I'm picking up on the draw uh, creaminess, a little tiny wood character. Um, just a, a real nice kind of medium bodiedness and um, and but on the finish though I'm getting more of like a, a darker a darker pepper with a little bit of leather and a little bit of nut so it actually it's pretty it's actually pretty complex and I wouldn't say the finish is necessarily a, a long finish but it's definitely something that goes hmm and it makes you think you know and I like that and uh, you know I haven't had a cigar in about like geez like three weeks or something like that so this is definitely a treat and it's surprising um, yeah so I'll catch you guys back soon and uh, maybe around the halfway point maybe oh, this is the vein I was talking about I don't know if you guys can see that it's a tiny little bump right there it's probably hard to pick out but it was underneath this band it's right there just a little vein or something popping out but cosmetically this is just a beautiful cigar 
if this thing can focus. So yeah, I'll catch back with you guys soon. Back again here with the Rocky Patel Decade. I'm a little over halfway, and as you can see, there's a quite, quite a divot going on here in the uh, in the burn that just happened. Um, still, uh, the performance hasn't um, been affected by that, but I'm probably gonna have to correct that because that's pretty big. Um, still, uh, the flavors. Hmm. It's very creamy. I'd say it, it mellowed out the flavors, and uh, there's a slight sweetness going on there. Um, a little bit of nuttiness, nuttiness still, but I'd say it's more of like a creamy, uh, I guess, creamy sweetness going on. Um, some people would say, oh, it's a dried fruit. I, I don't know if I'd say dried fruit, but um, uh, I think the band is kind of uh, indicative of the flavor. You know, it's kind of a creamy looking band, and so I think it's kind of cool when cigars do that, when it looks like it tastes, and like it tastes like it looks. So that's what we're getting. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. Um, this cigar is just getting better and better, so I'm really excited for the last third here. See you soon. Back again here with the uh, Decade. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys real quick, in the sunlight you could see the beautiful sheen it has. It really is a, uh, a nice a nice wrapper there. Um, I think it's an Ecuadorian Sumatran or something. But uh, anyway, I just want to share with real quick, the flavors again are still very creamy. Um, but I think it's getting even sweeter to almost like a tingly, like a citrus kind of note. And that's very, very pleasant for me. I think it's really interesting. Um, I'm still getting, of course, that, um, that creaminess and the, a little bit of leather on the finish. And the finish, I'd say, is even shorter than normal. Um, so it's kind of interesting because it, it gets kind of shorter and sweeter. Um, maybe just a little bit more oily, but uh, definitely interesting. So I'll catch back with you guys with the last video of me rating the cigar on our 10 point scale. See you soon. Alright guys, last uh, review here of the Decade. Um, it's getting a little bit dark and toasty and hot, so I'm going to put it down pretty soon here. But uh, I really just have nothing bad to say about this cigar. Um, you know, it's not the cheapest cigar out there, um, but I tell you what, it's worth every, it's worth every penny. So. Um, I think I'm going to rate it like a 9.2 on our 10 point scale because um, I did have to correct the burn. Um, I wouldn't agree with like the 9.5 rating or whatever that Cigar Aficionado gave it, but it's definitely like the top, you know, top 10 cigar for sure. Um, uh, I can say that it's really, I don't know, it's really just one of those cigars that you can't go wrong with, you know, if you're at a, at a shop somewhere, definitely pick one up. I can't recommend it enough. Um, definitely try it with some coffee like I did. And um, and yeah, um, this is, I don't know, I guess I guess for the Rocky Patel, this is probably like, uh, this is probably like a definite big home run for them. Uh, it's kind of like the Oliva V, um, Siri V for Oliva, um, as this is to Rocky. So if you guys like um, Siri Vs, um, this is kind of like in that same category. It's like a classic. You just can't go wrong. Um, definitely good. So I'll catch you guys soon um, with another cigar review. Have a good day.